I just got done with my August wrap up and was like, you know what, I haven't eaten today, so I should eat. And then I just ended up heating up some kimchi and rice cakes in a skillet, and that was my lunch. Might not have been nutritious, but it was delicious. And that's everybody, my name is Katie, welcome to the Book Buddies, and today's video is going to be my um, fall TBR. I have already finished two books this fall season. <laughs> um... The first one being Furthermore by Tahata Mafi, which is about a girl named Alice who um, lives in a world full of color and she is born without any color. And the more colorful you are, the more magical you're expected to be. She lives in a town called Farinwood. And in Farinwood, you are given these tasks when you turn 12. And um, she... Uh, she ends up helping one of her friends with his task as she goes to find her father, basically. Um, it was really good. I gave it three and a half stars out of five. Um, I will say, like, the reason I didn't give it a full, like, four stars is mostly just because of the ending was really rushed and I feel like everything built, built up and then it was over. So... Like, good, but I just, it had a really weird ending to me. I liked it. I listened to the audiobook off of Scribd, which, because I was driving home from, or driving back to school from my house for Labor Day weekend, and it was only, it, it's an eight hour, it's an eight hour audiobook on 1.5, so it actually took me like six and a half hours, I'm gonna say, maybe seven. Um, we got stuck behind a truck for like 30 minutes and we're going like 45 miles an hour. It was the worst 30 minutes of my life. <laughs> I plan on reading Witchwood, which is the sequel. Um, I'm not sure when. I probably won't read it this season, but um, yeah. It was good enough to make me want to read the next one. The next book I read is the first book in a series that I thought that I would never read because I hate the movies. <laughs> But I made a deal with Kayleen that if she started, or if she read Artemis Fowl, I would read this series. And she read the first book in Artemis Fowl. So that means that I had to read the first book in this series. And that series is Harry Potter. I read slash listened to Harry Potter and the Sorcerer's Stone by J.K. Rowling. And my opinions of this is, yep. That's Harry Potter. Um, I don't know about it. Like, I enjoyed it. I'm not gonna say that I didn't enjoy it. I did like the book. Like, I enjoyed reading it. It was just very meh to me. I gave it three stars. This was definitely not, like, eye-opening to why Harry Potter is so amazing. I, like, I'm gonna give it at least to the third book to tell me, like, I, like, if you don't wow me by the third book, I'm gonna be a little bit, like, irritated or disappointed, actually, because it's not like I don't want to like this book. I want to enjoy these. I want to like the books that I read. I don't read things to not enjoy them. Um, but yeah, um, I pretty much just, for the first series, or for the first book, I knew that it was going to be kind of boring because I find the first movie extremely boring. I can't even finish it. Um, this was more interesting than the first movie. So there's that. <laughs> I have high hopes for the others because like I said, I did enjoy it. It's not like I didn't like it. I did enjoy it. So I have hope. I have hope. One more book that I started and I am currently halfway through and it is Everland by Wendy, Win what is her name? Wendy Spinelli. That made me think of the old new show Recess. You know the one girl her name was Spinelli? Anyway, that's not doesn't retelling a steampunk steampunk apocalyptic retelling of Peter Pan um it's not like full-on apocalyptic but it is like there is a virus going around London like uh, going around on in England that is killing everybody and there are very very few women specifically left um so yeah um and you're following Gwen and her two siblings as they join the Lost Boys and try to fight off the German in German prince who was the one 
who is the one who kind of started all of this Hook. That's not his actual name, of course, but like his name spells out Hook if you put the first letters together. Um, and it's good. Again, I don't really like Peter Pan very much, but I really wanted to read the second book, which is Underland, and which is an Alice in Wonderland retelling of the story, and I just really wanted to read it. So I was like, I have to read the first one to read the second one, so I'm going to read the second one. And I'm actually listening to it off of script, and it's a very entertaining book so far. I do like it. Again, I don't like Peter Pan, so there are things about it that I'm just kind of like, eh, whatever. Um, but it's not not enjoyable, and I love steampunk. And I like that the steampunk aspects of this is very much more atmospheric rather than like in-your-face steampunk. Like everybody's wearing corsets and blah 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 blah. And so now on to the books that I have not even started. <laughs> Most of these are kind of like spooky or like have something to do with Halloween or have like a certain atmosphere. However, um, not all of them. And like, again, I may or may not read all of these. I will probably be adding books in as we go. Um, so yeah, just, just letting you know that now. <laughs> the first book on, um, where is it, that I plan on reading. Ah, the first book that I plan on listening to is City of Ghosts by Victoria Schwab off of Scribd. I don't know anything about this book, but it's by Victoria Schwab and it has something to do with ghosts and I've never been let down by a Victoria Schwab book. So, there you go, I'm gonna read it. <laughs> So I have a like kind of a goal for this year was for me to read a Neil Gaiman book or at least start a Neil Gaiman book every month. I have almost done that. I've read this I have read this year four Neil Gaiman books um which like not maybe start a new Neil Gaiman book every month, but like every time I finish a Neil Gaiman book, the next month I will start a new one. There's only been a couple of months that I haven't done that. Um, but I'm definitely planning on doing that this month. So the first one is, a, like, these are all audiobooks because I honestly love, I like listening to his books more than I like reading them because he narrates them and I just love it. I adore it so much. Um, but the first book that I plan on listening to is M is for Magic. Again, I don't know what this book is about, but it's only five hours long and it's Neil Gaiman and can't, I, you can't, you can't go wrong with for me with a Neil Gaiman book. Um, and then the next one that I plan on reading is Odd and the Frost Giants. Again, don't really know what this is about, but it's an Neil Gaiman book and I have never read a Neil Gaiman book that I didn't like. It is raining. All has arrived. It's raining in Texas. <laughs> I, I'm going to be reading or listening to those two. Those are the two Neil Gaiman books I plan on reading, and then the Victoria Schwab book. So those are, so far that I have picked out, all of the audiobooks that I have planned. Um, I don't, I don't have any others that I plan on listening to at the moment aside from Everland and finishing that up. The next book I plan on reading is actually the next book in the Harry Potter series, and it is, I don't know what, it's, is it The Order of the Phoenix? What is the second book? Hold on. No, it is the Chamber of Secrets. I don't even know what order these go in. Good job, me. <laughs> um, the next book I plan on reading slash listening to, because again, I listen to books on my way to class, is Harry Potter and the Chamber of Secrets. Um, again, by J.K. Rowling. It is raining. Sorry, I'm just really distracted by the rain. It does not rain in Texas very often, so I'm like, I really enjoy this. Anyway. Um, I will be listening slash reading this book this month. It is Harry Potter. You know what Harry Potter is about. I'm not going to go into it because it's Harry Potter. <laughs> that means, Kayleen, that you have to read the second Artemis Fowl book. Just go to my house and ask my mom for it and she you can go in my room and get it out. I don't care. <laughs> Next book that I have planned on reading is actually an audiobook not an audiobook, it is a graphic novel, and it is Sheets by Bran, Bran, Brenna Thumler. Um, my roommate, Jessica, 
uh, read this. I bought it not that long ago, and she read it, and she really liked it. She really liked the art style. She didn't like the way that people, the people were drawn very much, but she liked like the other things about it. And I don't know. It just looks really cute, um, and it seems like it would be a, like a fun Halloween read where it's not like scary or spooky, but like. Like, it's, it's about ghosts, and it looks like it's based in the fall time, and that's just good enough for me. Um, so yes, and I just really like finding graphic novels. I love graphic novels. They're one of my favorite things to read. The next book I plan on reading isn't technically out yet, and it is The Gold Tower, which is the fifth book in the Magisterium series by Holly Black and Cassandra Clare. Um, this over here. Um, it comes out in like five days and I'm really excited about it. It is the finale and that story went in a direction I was not expecting so I'm very, very curious. Um, story, if you've been on, if you've been on my channel very much at all, you know that I actually really, really enjoy the Magisterium series. I know a lot of people really didn't like it, but you know what? They can... I'm not gonna say that. Um, one of my favorite middle grade series, if not... Well, no, it's not my favorite middle grade series. My favorite middle grade series is Artemis Fowl, that's not the point. Um, it is one of my favorite middle grade series, and I have every intention of just rereading the entire series at some point this year, um, probably during the winter months because that's when I read most of my fantasy, but that's fine. <laughs> the next book I plan on reading is not at all Halloween-y, at least as far as I know. You've probably, <laughs> probably um, figured out that I very rarely go into books knowing what they're about. Um, and this is one of the ones that I know nothing about, and it is Bob by Wendy Mass and Rebecca Steed. Um, I've just seen a lot of really good things about this, and it's short, and it looks really cute. Like, look at how tiny this is. It's so, it's so cute. And, like, look at how cute the cover is. I'm... Um, this book is really really short. I can probably get this done in a day um, And that's kind of one of the reasons that I wanted to get it. I got this at Barnes & Noble during their la Labor Day sale So it was 50% off plus my already like membership So it was 60% off and I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get it and it's fine. I got two books that day for $23 Yeah, on to the more Halloween-y type books, I guess is The Haunting of Charles Dickens by Lewis Busby I'm don't know what this is about. I don't like going into books knowing about them, which is kind of a weird thing, but like I've discovered that it's makes books that I enjoy more enjoyable because I'm more surprised by what's going on. Um, more pleasantly surprised, I guess, by what's going on. I'm pretty sure that um, either Charles Dickens starts haunting some kids or some kids start haunting Charles Dickens, if I remember from like four years ago when I got this because I did care back then about reading what books were about before I read them. Um, don't so much anymore, obviously. Um, I've kind of discovered that I need to have a rule where if I've owned a book, if I've owned a book for longer than five years, I should just get rid of it because, and, it, and I haven't wanted to read it. That's like the big thing. And this book was almost on that list, but I was like, you know what, I actually do want to read this, so I'm going to give it a shot. Um, yeah, so like, I mean, I don't do unhauls like on this channel, because I very rarely get rid of books. Like, I think I've gotten rid of, I haven't gotten rid of any books yet. I have a very small stack of books that I plan on getting rid of but like it's books that I didn't like at all and then two books that I have absolutely no interest in reading whatsoever and I don't even know why I have um but yeah so this book was saved thanks to October and we'll see how much I enjoy it and whether it was worth saving I guess that is I plan on reading is The Monstromologist by Rick Yancey and this is kind of in the same boat as this one I've owned it for forever and never read it I think I've had this book since like 2010. <laughs> it's 2018. It's almost 2019. I've almost had this book for 10 years and I haven't touched it. But I, every Halloween, I'm like, I kind of want to read this, but then I never do it. So I do plan on getting this. I got this from the book outlet, I'm pretty sure. No, I got this from 
a bookstore in Idaho in Sun Valley. That's what it is. Um, but yeah, the only thing I know about this is that it's about a guy who becomes an apprentice to a doctor who ends up being a monstrumologist. I've heard that this series is not nearly as like dark or scary as people wanted it to be, but it still has like a dark undertone and I think that that's honestly good enough for me. As long as it's dark-ish, I will probably be fine with it. I'm not a- The next book I have to read is more in the horror -y genre and it is The Sacred Box or the sacred or the sacrifice box the sacrifice box by martin stewart that sounds really familiar who is martin stewart i'll look it up later um this seemed like sounds to me a lot like it where these kids find a box in the woods and they shouldn't open it but they do anyway and like 12 years or something later they have to sacrifice someone to the box so they have to like because this stuff keeps happening so they have to sacrifice someone to the box and they have to figure out who they're going to sacrifice to the box and this sounds a lot like it like the second part um ooh, it's raining hard now dang okay um so yeah i this this is a little bit out of my realm of what I would normally read. Ah, oh, it's got a pretty boring cover. It's fine. Um, so I don't know. <laughs> uh, but I saw it at, this is the other book I got at the Barnes & Noble sale. Um, but I saw it and I was like, I need an actual Halloween book. And I want a new one so that I'm not like just reading books that I'm get, like I've owned for forever. Um, and this one seemed interesting enough and it's a new release so I was like you know what I should I'm going to read it I haven't heard anything about it I don't think anybody's talked about it I've not I've never seen any hauls with it in there but I was like I want to try and see if I like it and if I do great the next book I plan on reading is actually a reread and it is one of my favorite like horror fantasy novels I've ever read and it is The Diviners by Libba Bray. This is the old cover because I got it when the old cut when they before they changed the cover the first time. I'm not salty. It's fine. Um these were such nice covers. Why would you change these? Ugh. <laughs> the new ones are so ugly. Like even the even the new the new covers that came out when the second book came out were ugly and then the new covers that came out with the third book were better than the second book, but they're still ugly. <laughs> I'm so upset. These are so cool too. I love this cover. Oh, it's fine. Um, but anyway, this is a book about a girl named Evie who when she touches things, she can see the past of them and she is sent to work in the cult museum that her uncle runs because she gets into some trouble with her family. And as she's there, the some murders start happening and the police call in her uncle because they think it might have something to do with a cult. And it is really good. It like if I read this in like 2014 or 2015 and it was one of my favorite books of the year and I just I really want to reread it because it's been a long time and I do want to try and find the second book. I've heard the second book isn't as scary or like as dark as the first one, but it's still like, you know, up there. So I plan on reading both if I can get the second one. The next book that I plan on reading, I don't have. And I, um, I actually have two books and I plan on reading, rereading Nevernight and reading God's Grave by Jay Kristoff. Cause I would like to participate in the read along that, um, Little Book Owl is hosting. Uh, because I really liked, really, really liked Nevernight. When I first finished it, I was like, I'm never, I want nothing to do with this book ever again. I hate it so much. But that was a lie. I was just really, really sad. <laughs> um, it is a really good book, and it is about Mia Corvere, who, um, becomes an assassin, basically. She goes to an assassin school. And the world is really cool. I like the, like, magic system. I like the way that the school is run. I like the characters. I like that Mia is very blunt um, about herself and like other people. Um, and it's a very, very, very dark book. It is a um, adult fantasy. So there are some parts in it, but they're not soup. They're not bad. I, I don't want to read a 
erotic novel. So there comes a point where even if I like the story, if there is too much of that or if it's like too detailed, like if you're having, if you're doing the do, I don't really care, but don't like go into detail. I don't want to know. Like <laughs> you can, it's a pretty dark book. And like I said, it is adult. So if you, if you are of um, a lighter stomach, I wouldn't really recommend it. It is very, very dark, very gory. Well, it's not really that gory, but like, it's not gory in the sense that there's lots of blood, but it is kind of gory in the sense of morbid, I guess. Um, but yeah, no, I plan on reading, rereading and reading those if I can find God's grave. <laughs> because again, same thing for with um, the Diviners. I can never find it anywhere. It was not at Barnes, it wasn't at my Barnes & Noble. It's not on Scribd. It wasn't, it's not on YouTube. <laughs> I couldn't find it on Book Depository or the, um, or, book outlet but I'm gonna check again hopefully and get it in either this month or next month <sighs> last book that I plan on reading this month or this month I'm not reading these this month I'm reading all of these this season have I been saying this month this whole time I'm never gonna there's no way I'm gonna read like 15 books this month I'm done anyway is the library of souls by ransom Riggs. um this is the third book in the miss peregrine's home series and I wanted to read it before the last book. I believe that this will actually be the last book, which is The Map of Days. Um, and I know that th these aren't like super dark and mysterious and like gory and blood and blah. Atmosphere to the, like there's an atmosphere to these books that I really enjoy reading during the fall. And therefore, I want to read it. <laughs> I am not going to be adding any more books to this TBR, um, like planned books. Again, my TBRs are extremely loose. The only ones that I'm like, no, I have to read this are the ones that I have already finished and then Harry Potter, or that I have already started and need to finish, and then Harry Potter and my Neil Gaiman books. But those won't take me very long because each audiobook is like three or four hours long. Won't take me very long at all. Um, but yeah, no. And Sheets. I, I, I'm going to read Sheets. It's a graphic novel. There's no way I'm not going to be able to get that done. But yeah, that is my TBR. <laughs> it's kind of daunting. I don't remember. How many books is it? It's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 17 books in three months. You think I can do it? <laughs> Thank you everybody for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe if you'd so wish. I'm going to be leaving all of the social medias down below, including my Goodreads and Kayleen, and well, not Kayleen, but our Instagram, which Kayleen pretty much runs and does. If there's a tag or a video that you would like me to do, be sure to leave it in the comments below and I will do my best to do it. Um, my next video will be coming up on Sunday because that is the day that I'm supposed to be doing the weekly updates. So you will get to see what I have started, what I'm reading, and all of that jazz soon. And until next time, happy reading! I'm pretty sure I stole happy reading from somebody, but I don't know who I stole that from. It might have been Sam's nonsense. It might have been Sam's nonsense. I'm sorry, Sam. I stole your outro.